Hello, Buzz and Cults! My name is Autisty and welcome to a brand new day, another day in Minecraft, where we are still not mining today, as we avoided that the whole season. If you want to figure out why, what's the premise of all of this, check out episode 0 of uh, this series where I go into more detail. But say, Hatsusti, does this look one story taller than last time? And do we have to do another episode of Villagers? Then the answer is yes and not entirely yes. We will fill the fourth layer which is the redstone layer and for that uh, we will need clerics for clerics we need brewing stands and we could either get them by uh, uh, raiding villages around in the world uh, in the hope that we get enough or we can craft them ourselves and for that we need to go into the nether to get ourselves a few blaze powders so first order of business app uh, yeah you can see down there that present I'm recording this around Christmas so we will go into the nether, locate a fortress which hopefully has a blaze spawner and come back with one or two stacks of uh, blaze rods. So that should be good. Right. I prepared a bit by uh, grabbing quite a few blocks because uh, most of the nether side is surrounded by lava and we have to to go out there have a cauldron uh, a water bucket so we can extinguish ourselves should we get on fire uh, have some sticks and as I looked up some of the near nether fortress uh, locations, most of them are in crimson wood, which means there are soglins, so we equip ourselves with a warped fungus um, to shy them away. But then let's see uh, what we can find on the other side. And as we are up here, I probably should go down to the uh, ground level near the lava lakes and figure out which direction to take there. Ooh, and I don't have any golden shoes. That's not good. Not completely prepared. I'll be right back. That's where we come down and uh, the probably nearest fortress are in that direction. There are two of them pretty close by in Crimson Forest. Then a bit further out in uh, that direction. Uh, we have some in uh, uh, basalt deltas and in this direction we have some more in crimson forest but uh, let's see what's in the ones over in this direction oh and there it is already so let's see. Ooh, and 
and there are some uh, widow skeletons. Um, question is, how do we get best over there? Probably bridging and then leaving a gap between the uh, the actual fortress and uh, our bridge where we can make a platform so we can jump, jump over from one side to the other uh, but the mobs will not follow we probably need a bit going a bit higher So, and now let's see if we can deal with this one. Nice. Then we can finish this platform here and jump over. Ooh, terrible fortress. And up ahead, I see a blaze spawner. So let's pull this off. Also here, where that we do not have any nasty surprises. We have our cauldron. We fill it with water and then we can jump in should we burn. Right, that looks like a good setup. Uh, we can also. Ooh, we should not venture out too much. We probably. I also want to cover here the top and then probably also wall them in a bit more. But we have found what we were looking for. So let's see if we can collect the rods without dying. One stack blaze rods, that should be enough. So, ooh, let's deal with that one. Then close off here. Make sure we have enough health. Uh, peek out to the side here. Okay, looks good. And okay, ooh, there are two blazes there. Let's deal with them, and then we can get out of here and deal with the next part of uh, this project. There we go, and now we have to once again brave the uh, crimson red forest, which can contain soglands that usually are not nice to us. So that's keep something in here so I can uh, 
Little up. Okay, they are occupied. I set up here a trapdoor system and slabs here, so nothing spawns on here. Uh, but we will have to get a safer way into the fortress uh, when we come back to explore more. Yeah. And it took quite a few deaths. Uh, until I managed to get a full stack of blaze rods. Um, it's a bit of uh, finesse that is required. Um, of course a bit of a better armor would also help, but we did it. And we will be back for more. With the dangerous stuff out of the way comes the boring one where we have to create a few brewing stands and then put in the villagers from over there. Luckily for the uh, Clerics, we do not need to heal them because they have uh, one emerald for two redstone trade. So it does not get better than that. Uh, so we can basically just drop them in here directly from the breeder. But this in turn means that we will run out fast of villagers so uh, that will take a while and I will not bore you with the details of that and as the day nears its end so does our day's work we have completed this floor with all the clerics in here and one day of trading with them uh, will get me uh, 25 and a half stack of redstone, which is almost three stacks of uh, redstone blocks. So that should be good for uh, any normal redstone project that I usually do. Um, larger ones probably need a bit of planning. But that's it for today's episode. Join me for the next one. See you then. Goodbye.